a car is is actually the most annoying process in the entire it world, sucks. and it takes hours and hours. I just bought a Tesla, which you've seen. Yeah. Uh, hopefully that video goes live before this goes live. But uh, that is a completely different experience because they don't have a dealer's license. They can't. They cannot have a dealership in Texas. Uh, so you order that car on your phone, and it delivers to your house, and you never deal with a human. I didn't talk to one single person buying that car. Mm. But there's no negotiating or anything either. But I mean, you can't do that right now anyway. Why do you say negoti- negotiating? Negotiating. There's, there's no negotiating. <laughs> you got to put emphasis on that, you know. And fastest on the different syllable. Yeah. So the, like, so you, you buy and sell cars and, and like, like you do it a little bit because you want allocations for other cars. Yeah. I mean, recently that's the game I've been playing, right? So I bought a bunch of Fords and now I got the Raptor R coming. And hopefully the next time a Ford GT comes out, I, I think I'm like top dog at this dealership now. So I'll probably be the one to get the Ford GT from that, that dealership. Uh, like G, with Porsche, now I have a really good relationship, so now I'm getting these really hard to get Porsches, like the new 3RS and all that. How much money in car payments do you have right now? A lot. Because how many how many cars do you currently have? Like walk me through what cars. Right do you this minute, um, I got the Model S Plaid, the Buick. Can't forget the <laughs> okay. Buick. My grandma gave me a Buick. It's pretty <laughs> dope. Uh, the GT500 and the GT3. And how much are you paying a month to have all those cars? A lot. Like what? Tell me. I if I I know you have, if you have to guess at like eight, eight thousand dollars a month. Maybe not that much. Maybe like, I mean, you have like four, maybe like five or six. Okay, and, and you just I, I gotta look. And you you already have like the next couple cars you like planned out. Yeah, but again, okay, so on that one, the GT three right now is worth about a hundred thousand more than I bought it for. Um, the GT five hundred is worth about ten grand more than I bought it for. So again, I'm putting a lot of money into them, but I'm not losing. Like I'm getting all that money right back. When I sell, you're it. contradicting yourself because you're like, I'm gonna get all that money back, but then, but you're probably still no, 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 because they're so far over. Mm. If I bought it for 200 and sold it for 200, I'm not making any money. But like in the GT3, that car's 220 right now. It's worth 320. That's a huge. I, I'm not spending 100 grand in taxes, so no matter what, I'm, I'm making money on that car. What is going on, guys? I am Max Tuning, your host. I hope you enjoyed this little clip. If you want to see the full, magical, lovely episode, just click the link down in the description or search Don't Be Sour on your favorite podcast streaming service. And remember, thank you for tuning in.